Hey, good afternoon. We're loading up the high hole, getting ready to move out here. Uh, one little trick I do, I carry these uh, conveyor belts. Um, that high hole's got the wider gauge carriage on it. That's an eight foot trailer. So we're basically like right on the center of our rails. It just keeps you from sliding around so bad. And I also got uh, two inch diameter pins I drop in when I hop up over the tail. Yeah, we never, never did have a set of ramps on that trailer. I don't know if I ever will or not. And I guess we're going back to the shop. Somebody dropped a tree on the sheet metal and got part of my catwalk right there. part of it. It's what they make welders and hydraulic cylinders for. And one thing nice about that hoe, it's got uh, D-rings welded on it and then on the back here it's just got a 3 8 hook and a loop that's welded on it. And we've hauled it this way for over 20 years now and never had no trouble. I never was big on chaining over the tracks. A lot of people do. Yeah, that old trailer, that's, uh, <laughs> that's actually my oldest piece of equipment. That's a 1951 LaCrosse. 25 ton low boy. Been modified on a little bit. What I like about it is it's kind of short in stature, but it's pretty tough too. I mean, it, my God, that thing goes back to the Eisenhower administration. <laughs> And he ain't rusted out and he ain't broke up, so heck he'll probably finish me out. My grandkids will probably be using it. Well, we're gonna finish up here and get back to the shop, I guess, and start banging that metal back out. <laughs> we'll see you.